Hey guys, welcome back to another video. We just recently passed 1,000 subscribers on the channel, which is a major milestone, and I cannot thank you guys enough for that, for all of the support. Anyway, it happened at a pretty inconvenient time, to be honest, because... Oh, here we go. Here we go. Box 2... Alright, where's the other one? There's two of them out here. Anyway, it happened at a pretty inconvenient time for me because I, uh, was actually in the middle of a whole bunch of real life stuff. So, what can I say? Nothing's ever easy, is it? But, I thought that I would uh, celebrate by taking out a mod that was just recently brought to my attention and seeing if I could take out two J11 flankers with it. And I am not seeing the second flanker out here. I... this is getting a little worrisome. And yeah, I did just use F5 there, which is not something I'd normally do. Fox 3. Maybe that'll hit him. Okay, he's getting nose on, which is worrisome. Oh, Splash! Alright, good. Amram got him. <laughs> Alright, anyway. This is the ADFX-01 Morgan. I, uh... I'm not sure, honestly, where this mod came from or who developed it. I just was sent a link to it recently, and I thought it looked cool enough to try out. As you can see here, it is an FC3 based mod that uses the F15C avionics, but it's a it's actually a really high fidelity one. You can see the we've got the radar on the uh, on the right hand multifunction display, the RWR on the left hand, and the SMS page in the middle. And then we also have a sort of touchscreen UFC deal going on here, and some sort of little um, mini MFD down there on the left as well. And honestly, I'm pretty impressed with this cockpit. So let's have a quick look at the outside of this thing. And yeah. <laughs> this is uh, definitely some sort of futuristic uh, space combat type aircraft. I, uh, honestly, I don't know where this came from. I imagine it was probably inspired by some sort of other video game that has it in there. Uh, my suspicion would be Ace Combat or something of the like, but I'm not completely sure. You guys feel free to let me know in the comments because I'm sure you know better than I do. DCS is one of the very few things that I play on a regular basis, so, well, there you go. That's that's the reason for that, but anyway, I am, uh, honestly, I, I really think that this, if my head tracker would work properly, this is, um, this is the kind of thing that we need more of in DCS, but not necessarily the fictional part but definitely cockpits of this quality, this high fidelity sort of deal. And uh, really, honestly, this cockpit reminds me a lot of a, a uh, F-15E cockpit or a uh, Block 3 Super Hornet or, um, or a JF-17, something along those lines, but it's, uh, it's highly realistic, and given that this thing is very much a fictional aircraft, <laughs> nothing like this is, exists in real life that I'm aware of, and uh, the closest thing that I know of that ever did was probably the Sukhoi Su-47. But without further ado, I just wanted to say that uh, I really appreciate all the support you guys have shown subbing to the channel and 
sending me things to take a look at. And I'll go in depth a little bit more on where I intend to take the channel in the future. It's, it's mostly going to be a lot of the same stuff that you've seen before, except I'm going to, of course, try to make content that's a little bit more worthy of a 1K plus sub YouTube channel. But other than that, that's really all I have. Oh, please, word head tracker. That. That's the uh, downside of using view tracker, by the way. If you're on a budget and you're using that thing, your field of view isn't always the greatest. It's fine to the left, but because my um, it's centered, well, it's off center a bit. It gets a little weird when it starts looking to the right sometimes. Anyway, I hope you've enjoyed this uh, little mod demo and. Uh, I'll see you in the next video. Thanks for watching.